It is a lot easier to do bad than it is to do good. And as effective as heroes can be, a lot of the time they could be even more effective villains. Welcome to Top 10 Nerd, I'm Andrew Boyd. Today we will be taking another look at the top 10 superheroes who would make even better villains. Let's get started. Number 10, Daredevil. The Daredevil of Earth 616 has a very strong set of morals thanks to his relentless Catholic guilt. Using his heightened senses, Matt Murdock has managed to be an effective vigilante, protecting the people of Hell's Kitchen. But if he wasn't such a stand-up guy, he'd also be a pretty rough villain. There was the time he was possessed by a demon and took control of the hand, killed Bullseye, declared martial law over Hell's Kitchen, and waged war with the other street-level heroes, which, although not entirely his fault, showed how ruthless and effective he could be as a leader of an evil organization. Alternatively, we could look at the Daredevil from Earth 181, who actually works as a hitman for the Kingpin using his billy club to gleefully beat to death Fisk's enemies. Or perhaps the Matt Murdock of Earth-65, who was taken in by the hand after his accident and trained to be a deadly assassin. He also became a lawyer and began working for the Kingpin, eventually becoming his right-hand man and then the new Kingpin. He has made Spider-Gwen's life a living hell and has shown that when his mind is put to evil, he is an adept and difficult foe. Number 9, Iron Man. Tony Stark has a bad habit of having his good intentions blow up in his face and inadvertently making things worse. There was the time he and the Illuminati sent the Hulk off planet, inadvertently causing World War Hulk. There was the time he caused a superhero civil war that led to the planet's heroes being divided when the Skrull invaded and Norman Osborn becoming the new leader of the Avengers. Or the time Immortus took over his mind and made him turn evil and construct a space satellite weapon, which led to his death until he was brought back by Mr. Fantastic. Or the time he became a god, but was corrupted by the power and killed several of his friends. Now, I'm not saying that Iron Man is a crap superhero, I'm just heavily implying it. But regardless of your opinions on him, it is undeniable that with the amount of times he's been responsible for accidentally almost ending the world, he'd probably be really good at ending it if he ever tried to do it on purpose. A good villainous version of the character is the Emperor Stark from Earth 42,777, who caused caused viruses and food shortages to trick the people of this earth to give him a position of power and murdering all the heroes who stood in his way. Number 8, Deadpool. Wade Wilson has already shown himself to be difficult to deal with due to his insanity and inability to be killed. He worked for many years as an assassin before shifting into an anti-hero who has managed to gain something close to respect from the other heroes of the main Marvel Universe. However, we got to see how deadly the Merc with a Mouth can really be in Deadpool Kills the Marvel Universe, which takes place on Earth 12,101. In this story, Deadpool realizes that the universe he lives in is a lie, and he decides to go about killing all the characters he can, hero or villain. He comes up with some pretty disturbing and horribly effective plans, managing to kill the Fantastic Four, the X-Men, the Watcher, Spider-Man, the Avengers, Doctor Doom, and Howard the Duck, just to name a few. So if anything, the main Marvel Universe should be glad Deadpool is happy being a goofy hero who eats chimichangas. Number 7, Raven. The daughter of the demon Trigon, it was Trigon's intention that Raven reshape the Underrealms in his image. Fortunately, she was taught by monks of the Azeroth to overcome her father's influence and she became a hero instead of an interdimensional evil demon spawn. Whenever she loses control of her emotions, she becomes vulnerable to Trigon's influence though. This led to her destroying Azeroth before being killed by the Teen Titans. Another version of her, known as as Dark Raven spent some time implanting people, including Starfire, with the seed of Trigon's children. She has flip-flopped back and forth a lot over the years, but usually manages to overcome her father's influence and help the heroes. But it goes to show that if she wasn't so dead set on not letting her father control her, she could cause even more damage and would probably end the world. Number 6, Forget-Me-Not. Not to be confused with the other Marvel character with the same superhero name who controls pheromones to make men fall in love with her Poison Ivy style, Zabby has what could allegedly be called the power to be immediately forgot by anyone he meets as soon as he leaves their field of vision. He was a member of the X-Men, although none of his teammates were aware of this most of the time. In fact, Professor X had to set up a psychic reminder to remind him once every hour that Forget-Me-Not existed. He is obviously extremely effective in reconnaissance missions, but if he was a bit more evil, who knows what would happen? He could rob, hurt, or kill anyone he wanted, and people wouldn't even be able to remember that a crime 
had been committed. Not being able to have any meaningful friendships or relationships would make a lot of people total psychos, so it's a good thing for everyone that Forget Me Not is such a relatively chill dude. Number 5. Aquaman Now, Aquaman has been the subject of many jokes over the years, and that is entirely justified. But as the ruler of Atlantis, he has control over the underwater nation's impressive army. So if he decided to go to war against the land folk, as he did in the Flashpoint universe, the consequences would be horrendous. Even worse than this is the fact that as the wielder of the Trident of Poseidon, he can control the weather, causing powerful storms whenever he needs them. If he was evil, he could wipe out a coastal city with a hurricane with ease, and there's not really anything anyone could do to stop him. So make fish jokes about him at your own peril. Number 4. Forget Me Not Not to be confused with the other Marvel character with the same superhero name who controls pheromones to make men fall in love with her Poison Ivy style, Zabby has what could allegedly be called the power to be immediately forgotten by anyone he meets as soon as he leaves their field of vision. He was a member of the X-Men, although none of his teammates were aware of this most of the time. In fact, Professor X had to set up a psychic reminder to remind him once every hour that Forget Me Not existed. He is obviously extremely effective in reconnaissance missions, but if he was a bit more evil, who knows what would happen? He could rob, hurt, or kill anyone he wanted, and people wouldn't even be able to remember that a crime had been committed. Wait a minute. Number 3. Professor X Professor Charles Xavier has been the most consistent leader of the X-Men over the years, sporting a genius level intellect in addition to extremely powerful telepathic powers. To be honest, I'm not entirely sure he isn't a supervillain, as he often makes truly horrible decisions and then hand waves them away as being for the greater good when anyone calls him out on them. Even before he was born, he was doing shady stuff. While he was in his mother's womb, he sensed that his would-be twin sister would be extremely powerful and evil, and decided she was too powerful and dangerous to be allowed to be born, and killed her in the womb. His powers have made him secretive and extremely manipulative, often simply erasing the memories of the X-Men when he does something that could impact their loyalty to him. A good example of this is in X-Men Deadly Genesis number 5, when he got a group of students killed, including Cyclops' brother Vulcan, and erased the event from the team's minds. If this is the type of behavior Charles is capable of when he claims to be a hero, imagine how dangerous he would be if he decided to be a villain. As an example, check out Earth 16111, where he became an evil witch king who took over the world. Number 2. Cyborg Cyborg's origin has some variations, so just a heads up, we're going off of the Prime Earth continuity for this one. When Victor Stone was critically wounded in an accident, his father Silas used experimental technology to try and save his son's life by turning him into a cyborg. This gamble was successful and gave Victor a cool grab bag of powers such as super strength, flight, and mechanokinesis, which allows him to interface with computers and machines and control them with his mind, just to name a few of the powers. Victor has proven himself a hero many times over, having served on both the Teen Titans and the Justice League, but if he wanted to be evil, it would be really easy for him. With a mere thought, he could tank a country's economy, or launch their nuclear arsenal, thereby reducing the Earth to a smoking crater incapable of sustaining life. But as long as he keeps his Norton antivirus software updated, he should be fine. Number 1. The Flash When Barry Allen was doused in chemicals and struck by lightning, he became capable of accessing the speed force and became the fastest man alive. It's more complicated than that, but I'm not getting into all that right now. Beyond the obvious running uses, Barry's incredible speed allows him to phase through objects, cast lightning, and even travel through time. While the reverse flash has shown how useful these powers are for a criminal and a murderer, it was Barry who showed how dangerous a rogue time traveler can be. When he traveled back in time to save his mother from being killed by the reverse flash, he inadvertently created the Flashpoint timeline, an alternate universe where everything was just awful. To be fair, reverse flash made a lot of extra changes to this timeline to make it extra crap, but it just goes to show that if Barry can cause so much damage by accident when he changes the timeline, imagine how dangerous he could be if he was a villain. He could not only defeat his enemies, but travel back so that they died as children and were never even a threat. In addition to this, Flash's speed makes him so powerful that if he ever let loose, even the pre-crisis Superman would have trouble taking him out. Who else's abilities would make them an absolute menace if they ever went rogue? Check out part one of this video and maybe you'll see them there. Until then, please remember to like this video and subscribe for more Top 10 Nerd.